Alright, so in this video, we'll look at how we can use uh, scikit-learn's uh, grid source CV and pipeline. Um, we'll continue with the, our previous uh, video where we made a text classification uh, to categorize uh, articles into these uh, five different categories. And before we used a simple night base model to uh, calculate the sorry uh, yeah, predict the classes and this time we'll use um, we'll see how we can use pipeline to make our model simpler and and then also to use the grid search CV for the data set you can download from this link and a uh, few required imports so we can use these load files to load the articles I have already downloaded and extracted in the uh, this folder called BBC so this one so if we look at the structure the, so these are the folders here and within each folder there are many articles so let's load the articles and also just uh, check how many articles there are per category we'll also use this uh, train test split function to divide our whole data set into training and testing set so it seems uh, we have uh, for each category 400 for politics uh, entertainment 386 and all and when we once we split the data set so for training we have uh, about 1600 1700 articles and 557 for the testing so now previously what we did was define our vectorizer the the thing that converts the text into uh, vectors and then separately we defined a model and then classified but this time we'll be using pipeline to group those together so from sk learn not pipeline import Pipeline, then from sklearn dot linear model import. Let's use uh, SCD classifier. Then we need feature extraction dot text import tf idf vectorizer. So once we have done that, then we can define our pipeline. Pipeline equals to pipeline, and then within this list, you have to provide the the models that you will be using. So models in the sense the first one we'll be using is the vectorizer, and the second one is the actual classifier. So uh, we have to specify them in the tuple. So we'll name this vectorizer and this would be tf idf vectorizer we'll just uh, specify stop words english and we'll just name this classifier then this would be scd classifier we'll just use the default parameters for now now the best thing about this pipeline is that we can consider this pipeline as the whole model so that uh, we can call let's run it then we can call this fit function in the pipeline itself so x train just like you would with any classifier then y train now our model is trained so if we score uh, x test then 
y test with the testing data set so we have 99% accuracy okay this is pretty interesting so in this uh, using this pipeline the x test is just just text uh, but previously we had to um, convert using this vectorizer transform our text into the vectors then feed it to the classifier but because we have defined the pipeline in such a way that it contains the vectorizer and classifier within itself so we can just pass the string uh, strings so we can say uh, pipeline predict okay football match starts tomorrow so let's see what is the so it predicted three so for the classes we can data dot target names so the third one is zero one two three so the third category is sports so yeah it, it correctly classified this as a sportsman in the sports category this is nice so using credit uh, pipeline we can sort of build an end-to-end -end, uh, thing that we can use it in an API or uh, give it to end users now another thing uh, for this uh, small problem we achieved 99% accuracy so that is uh, good let's say if we had used logistic regression and then predicted we have 97 percent accuracy so let's say we wanted to improve this accuracy what we would do is uh, use grid search so grid search does basically uh, we have to specify different parameters that we want to use for example here in stop words we could use English or non to specify we don't want to use any so there are different combinations and for each of these there are so many different parameters so we can all uh, we can specify the values we want to use for each of these parameters for vectorizer even for this uh, regression there are things like penalty this uh, tolerance c and all those things so using grid search we'll try to find the best possible combination so for that we'll define parameters and it's a dictionary so how we would define is because we have given the name as vectorizer here so we'll say vectorizer and we have to give double underscore then so vectorizer is this tfidf so whatever parameters are here we can pass we can specify that so for example there is uh, max features so let's say we want to uh, find how what is the best number of max features that we can use so we can specify it like this and max features would be non means use as many as you want the psychic learn will figure this out but sometimes it's um, too much and let's say we want 1000 max features or 10000 so this is for one parameter then vectorizer underscore underscore max df so this is for max document frequency so say we will say 0 0.5 0 0.7 and 1.0 then so we can do this for all of the parameters that whatever we can pass here so uh, for now we'll just use uh, two of these for vectorizer and for the regression the classifier we'll just um, try to search what penalty is the best one so if we look into the documentation and here the penalty says 
string l1 or l2 so let's just uh, tell the grid source that try with both l1 and l2 so because we have named this uh, classifier as classifier so classifier then penalty and l1 l2 so now we can define grid search equals to grid grid source didn't I import this okay from sk learn dot model selection import grid search cv grid search cv then the parameters is the estimator so in this case our the estimator would uh, is our pipeline and the parameter grid that we want is this uh, parameters that we defined parameters let's delete this then we can do grid search dot fit with uh, our training data and testing as uh, yeah training data and training levels so for each of the unique combination of these values uh, it will train different models so first it, it will use a none for this max features then choose uh, 0 0.5 and l1 and train one model from this then it will again use non 0 0.5 l2 then non 0 0.7 l1 l2 0 it's, so it goes it goes and train trains a lot of models and finds the best one so the more parameters that you want to search the longer it will take for this to figure out so while this is running uh, let's write some code to print the the best accuracy that we got so best score uh, is So this best score attribute of this grid source will uh, will have the the best the score that was produced by the best model, and uh, we can also check the best parameters that we got. So print best parameters. Grid source dot Based estimator. Mm, let's see if this. Okay, so this finished, and we can see the best score we got was 96 uh, percent. Here we only got 97. Uh, we got 97 in the testing set. So uh, let's just see. Get params. Then, so this will get all of the parameters of our estimator so um, we'll just filter out the ones that we specified so only we want to look at the penalty ah, sorry not just the penalty but uh, max features max tf and penalty so what was the value that was selected for each of those uh, parameters in sorted parameters dot keys so we'll just say percent s equals to percent r then we'll give parameter name then from base parameters we'll select the prime name so it turns out that using classifier l2 and the max document frequency of 0 0.5 and the max features unbounded max features we were able to achieve 96 um, percent in our tra training data so for let's evaluate this in the testing sense so we'll just use grid source dot best 
estimator dot score and x test y test and we got ninety seven point eight so this is almost same as before but we at least we learned how to look for the parameters and search uh, the best best parameter values we could obviously use more uh, add more of these values and more uh, try to find other best values for other parameters as well so for example stop words uh, we have defined English maybe um, we could use this min df or vocabulary or with this uh, this ngram range so after doing that the base model is uh, inside the best estimator attribute so we can um, pickle this and use this later on in our web api or or some other library so thank you for watching